Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so, you know, uh, yesterday I showed you some of the Dollar Tree haul that I done. Um, I did not get this book from Dollar Tree, but I wanted to bring you guys along today. I have another one of these little golden books that I'm um, gonna prep and get ready. This one is still not completed. I still need to decorate the inside and all, but I just wanted to show you what we are going to do with this Cinderella book today. So let me show you this. Um, so this is a little golden book. I was able to preserve the um, the tape, um, the classic or iconic, you know, gold um, tape that was on the spine. It does have three signatures. And so I was able to keep most of the front um, where it can be seen. Um, and the other thing that I did is it has three signatures in here, but the story is intact and in order. And I'll, whenever we go to break the Cinderella book down, I'll show you how to do that. So like I said, I still have a lot to do to this one. Um, I haven't decorated any, um, but I do have pockets. Um, I have some, um, you know, manuscript paper. Again, another page of the story. This is some vintage music paper. Um, just some coffee dyed paper. This is a uh, frozen um, cartoon. So, and then we have more pages back here. And then there's the second signature, another pocket. And so I've just got stuff scattered throughout the book. Um, but like I said, I did maintain the story and kept it intact and in order. Um, so let's get started on our, oh, and check this out. I have a library card <laughs> and a pocket in there. And as soon as this one is, um, I get done decorating this one, um, this will be listed in my Etsy store. So stay tuned for that because, um, I'm hoping to have it completed maybe before the weekend, but it does have three signatures. Um, I love this one. That's, I may, I don't know, I may end up keeping this one for myself since this is, you know, so cute. But anyway, let's get started on um, our Cinderella. Now there is a couple of ways that you can break these books down. Um, you can get a heat gun. If I knew where mine was, hang on. Okay, I am back. I had to turn the overhead light off and get that glare off. It was killing me. All right, so um, supposedly if you have a heat gun, you can heat this tape up and it will come off easy. I don't know. We may try it. But this is how... Now, this one is a newer golden book. Um, the vintage golden books, you know, are held together by two staples under that tape. This one I found is actually sewn. Um, so what I do is I just turn it like this and then I pick this back cover up and I just kind of give it just a little bit of a pull just to where I will be able to see the, um, the seam. And I don't know if I can get it to where you can see it on camera. Maybe, let me see. I don't know if you can see the, um, See how it's there? I don't know if you could see it or not. Hopefully you could. So I just kind of go in with my X-Acto and I go ahead and I just start um, cutting those strings. Um, it's not real difficult to do. And well, I say the newer ones are like this. Now I did get a new one the other day. Um, and it was held on like the traditional ones. So now that I've got it kind of up some, maybe you can see the um, seam there. So I'm not sure, just whenever you um, get your golden book and you're ready to start doing it, just check and see um, if you feel the staples there because that will have a lot on how to uh, disassemble the book. Um, to me, this takes a little bit longer to disassemble, but it's okay. I don't mind. But I'm not sure when or why they, or if it's just the, I don't know, because 
like I said, the one I've done um, the other day had the staples in it. And it was new because I bought it at Walmart. So I am not sure. So I'm just going through, I'm almost, and I could probably just rip this one out, but I don't wanna do that because I really wanna try and keep, if I can keep from tearing the, um, and that was the other thing. Um, I noticed that whenever I went to save the um, that gold tape, it was almost like it was perforated um, right in the middle. And I didn't have that issue with the, um, the book that had the staples in it. So I'm not sure. So maybe you guys can see that now. So as you can see, it's now um, sewn in rather than glued in. See right here, this is where um, I had an issue where the tape was um, like perforated. So I am not sure. I don't know what they've done differently, but they've definitely done something differently. Okay, so the next thing I do is I just get my cutting board and you can do this with an X-Acto or you know, if you're real good, you can do it with your scissors, but I am not good. And I am just going to cut this right at six inches. And it will be the perfect little size when you do it at the six inches. Um, that's gonna give you the room for your um, pages to be five and a half inches. Okay. And did I introduce myself? You guys know who I am, but still, I'm Betty. I am the owner and creator of Betty's Custom Design here on YouTube, Etsy, Facebook, and Instagram. Let's got that out of the way. All right, so let me do this one more time, and then we'll take a look at that tape, because I have a feeling that tape is looking like it is perforated as well. So now we have our two covers, our back cover and our front cover, that are both six inches. Yeah, see this tape, I don't know. We're gonna save it, I mean there's, you know, I'm definitely gonna save it, but still it's, something's definitely different on it and I'm just trying to cut through the, um, the cardboard on the back. And you can tear that cardboard off most of the time. And you know that cardboard is in layers, so you've got a little bit before you get to the actual. Maybe this one will come off without it being, yeah, it's looking like it. I might can get it off without it being perforated. So it just, you have to just be slow and gentle. Don't get in a hurry. Um, and if you do mess it up a little bit, that's not the end of the world. We can, you know, you can fix it. There's things you can do. If you can at least save one strip of it, um, you know, like one little side of it, that's great. Um, because that's enough to put on one edge of the journal. Um, I was able to save all of it. And so I was able to wrap it around that front journal cover. But like I said, if you can't do that, it's it's not a big deal. Okay, so it looks like we've just about saved it. And so then I'm just gonna pull it. Now you can either cut this um, excess that hangs off from the book, or I tear it down and I haven't had any problem doing that. Uh, it separates pretty easily from that tape. Um, so again, if you feel more comfortable cutting it, by all means, cut it. So, so as you can see, I'm close to having my tape saved. Because, you know, when you think about the little golden books, this is just like the classic, iconic thing that you think of is that golden spine. So that's why I really wanted to try and preserve it. Um, because I, I really do enjoy seeing that little gold spine. And then once I get this off, I will actually just set this to the side for a little while because I've got more stuff to do. 
before I actually need this because this will be almost one of the last things. And look, guys, I saved it. Okay, so now I'm happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to assemble um, the cover. And because I have done several of these and I'm in the process of doing several of these, um, I've already got a few things kind of already prepared. Uh, one of the things that I've already got done is I've already got my chipboard. Let me grab a piece of it. Um, I have got a two inch um, wide chipboard. And so it's two inches wide by eight inches tall. So it is the perfect height of the, of the journal there. Um, so that's going to be my back or my spine. And then the other thing, I do um, use my Tyvek tape. I absolutely do. But for this, I also use um, a piece of an old Tyvek envelope. I think it was something I had ordered from Amazon. It came in one of these Tyvek envelopes. And I do use this as well. And so let me show you how I do this. Now the um, first thing I do and this, again, this is not something that you really have to do the way, I, but I like to have it centered. So I just fold right down that center line or right down the center just so I'll know where my center is. And then I am going to take my fabric tag and what did I do with my, oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm just going to take my fabric tag and I am going to coat this pretty good here. I really don't want this going anywhere. And so I'm going to get to the edges as close as I can. I will push some of the glue out to the edges. So if I can't get all the way, it's okay. And I always put way more glue than what I know that I probably should, but I'm okay with that. Okay, and so the next thing I do is I just try to um, line it up about as center as possible on that Tyvek to where I have about the same amount on each side. Then I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to get my spreader and I'm just going to spread that glue around and it's going to get all over my desk because I can feel the glue from where I put so much. I can feel it squeezing out, but that's okay. At least I know that this will be glued down good. So I just push it all the way to all edges so that I can make sure that glue got all the way around. Okay, now I need to grab a paper towel. Can I set them out of the way? So that they would not get in the way and I set them over too far out of the way so I don't think I can reach them so we're just gonna use a wet wipe all right so you see I did get some glue coming on the outside but that's okay I am just going to grab a wet wipe here mainly for my fingers because I normally do everything with my fingers oh I reached the paper towel okay Wiping that up a little bit so I don't glue my book down. Okay, now I can set this out of the way. And let me dry it a little bit. I've got string hanging everywhere. And I'm just going to wipe this a little bit just so I don't. Okay, so now I'm going to just set this down. And because the Cinderella, the name of the book is so far over to the right, I'm not really concerned. Um, so what I'll do is I am going to put the cover down here and then I will put the back down here. And then I want to make sure that I have a little bit of space in between. And I had, oh, what did I do with that? I had a... Um, cardboard that I had doubled. We'll just double one of these so that I'll, because I think I put, I think I actually threw it away because I wanted about double of what my cardstock is. And so I just, I'll use this and I'll write on it templates so that I don't lose it or throw it away like I did the last one. And these are just some offcuts of some of the chipboard. 
um, from whenever I was cutting out the um, the spines. As y'all know, I like to do things in, I, think, I don't know, work production or production assembly line. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set the back cover out of the way for just a minute. And then I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna put some glue right down here on this Tyvek. And if you don't have Tyvek, you can use, um, you know, a piece of material, you can use packing tape, you can use duct tape, um, you can use anything like that. I would just suggest using something though, just to give it that little bit of stability. Now I'm gonna line my book up, and while it's still wet, I'm gonna slide that down in there to make sure I have my spacing correct, and then I'm gonna pull that out. Okay, and so everything looks lined up at the top, everything looks lined up at the bottom, so I'm good. Now while that is setting, I'm gonna slide it over, and then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing to the uh, back cover. So again, I am going to put the glue down. And you wanna make sure you have plenty of glue. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm gonna make sure that it looks like it's lined up. And then I'm going to slide this in and slide my book up against it and then make sure that everything feels like it's even. And then I'm gonna pull that out. And I still wanna make sure that everything looks lined up. And that's where you can come right here and kind of... Okay, so everything's lined up until I go moving it all around. Now, what I want to do, I want to flip it over. And so you can see that it looks really good on the front and the back. And so now I'm doing the same thing. I'm just squeezing the glue all around. I just really want to make sure it's good and covered. squeezing it out and you can see that it's coming out the ends which is fine that's why we have the wet wipe and paper towel okay now the next thing I like to do and again it's probably overkill I don't know but it's just what makes me happy I am going to take my um, three inch tie back and I'm gonna run a strip down the center and then I'll probably have to come back in and put a few other little pieces along the side. Now I did just order some, um, it's not quite two inches. I just ordered that off of Amazon. I think it'll be here tomorrow because I am like almost out of Tyvek. And y'all know I love using my Tyvek. Okay, so I'm just gonna look and try to get it as centered as I can. And then I'm just going to put it down. And right here, I am going to like really kind of squish down into that seam area. And so I don't feel like I have enough tie back on the actual um, covers. So I am going to go back in with a little piece of tie back. Um, I'm going to actually split this in half and put half on the front cover and half on the back cover. And that way, it still won't be covering up a lot of the book, but I will feel a lot better. So, uh, and I always end up sticking myself to the tie bag. Like, I'm surprised I haven't become part of a journal yet because I've stuck myself to a journal so many times how you know this stuff is going to hold. <laughs> okay, so now I just take the Tyvek 
and I just go about middle ways because I really don't want to go too far over into that cover, but I do want to make sure I have enough on there. All right, and then again, I'm going to really work that down. And then I'm gonna come in with my other half and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And then just work it down. Okay. Right here, I'm just going to fold that up because we will be covering this. And so as you can see, we already have our book. It's that simple. So now what we need to do is pick out the fabric that we want to cover it with. And I pulled a little bit of my fabric because I wasn't sure. Um, let me see. I'm not sure what will look good with it. This is more mermaid than anything, but it might actually look good. Actually, I think that's going to look beautiful. Okay, so that's it. That's what we're going with. So, I just need... Hmm. Problem is, it's not long enough for me to fold it over, and I don't know if I have any more. I don't want it to go the other direction. It wouldn't. I mean, I guess it would look okay. I think it would. So that may be what we do then. So what I want to do is I want um, to cut a piece that is going to fold, come all the way down, and then back on the inside. So I need piece and I'm just gonna tear it um, okay, I can tear it right here and I will be fine okay so now that I have that now the one thing I do like to do and um, as you can see I don't cut very well because that's why this look, looks so messed up um, I am going to try and cut an even. We'll see how this works. I'm just going to try and even this up a little bit. Some days I can do this and it's so straight. And then other days it looks like I was trying to cut scalloped edge. So, okay, so it, that looks pretty decent. It's not as straight as I would like it, but... But you know what? We're going to get it straight. If I can find one of my rulers that I don't have glue all over, I'm just going to cut a straight edge on that just so that I'll, I'll feel a little bit better. Okay. And this is not something that you have to do because it's going to be covered up, the edge of this. You saw on the um, the frozen one, I had put the um, rickrack on it, and so I'll do something very similar to that on here. Um, so it's not it's not the end of the world for sure. But I will tell you that it helps me line everything up when it is nice and straight. <laughs> okay. So now that I have that, I don't want to go too far over, but I do want to make sure that I get I cover the tie back up. So I'm going about a quarter of an inch on either side. I'm just making sure everything's nice and lined up. And then it looks like I need it cut about there. Let's try this. Let's see how well I did. That looks like I'm... See? That's what I was telling you guys. Look. 
kind of wavy. Yeah. This is the how not to cut video. I don't know why I cannot get it. But we'll trim it up. Sometime. And again, it's not necessary, but it just makes me feel a little better. I just like it to be a little even. And my uh, rotary cutter is acting up for some reason. That's why I'm cutting it with this thing. And I boogered it up with that, but it's okay. All right. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to get this kind of laid out the way I want it. And I'm going to leave about an inch down here at the bottom. Now, if you want to iron it, you can go ahead and iron it at this time. Um, but when you go to squeeze your glue and you go to spread your glue around, it's going to get rid of all those wrinkles. So you don't really have to worry about that. So I am just putting Fabri-Tac all over this area. I'm getting down in those grooves real good. And again, I put, I know that I put more glue than what I should, but it's okay. All right, so again, we want to leave about an inch at the bottom. And then I want to try and get that evened up as much as I can. Um, it'll just help whenever we do go to cover it up. It will definitely help. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm just gonna kind of spread my glue around and get it all the way to the outside edges there. And as you can see, the wrinkles are already smoothed away. Um, you don't even see the wrinkles now. And that's because um, when we spread the glue, it just, it's getting rid of those wrinkles. And so I'm just trying to find where the, um, that, that crease in the seam is, and I'm just like really burnishing it down good. And making sure I'm all the way to the edge. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to flip it over. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece down. And that's the first thing I do. And then the same thing, I'm just going to squeegee that glue out to the edge. I just wanna make sure that that glue gets everywhere. Now, the next thing I do is I pull this down. Look at that. And I see about where I'm going to need to cut it because I'm going to be pulling it pretty taut. So I'm just looking here. And I'm going to cut right along here. And that should be about perfect. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna go back in and I'm gonna put glue all over here and do the exact same thing. So probably we'll finish um, getting the journal cover ready and then I'll go ahead and stop for tonight and um, we will come back tomorrow and I will show you how to pick out the pages for your signature, how to keep your pages intact um, for your journal. And that's probably all we'll get done tomorrow. I'm not sure, but um, we will keep on going until we get this little journal completed. So, okay, so again, I'm smoothing my glue. And I start up here at the top and I just kind of smooth and work my way down. 
and I'm going kind of catty cornered so that I can get to the side there. Um, if I don't get all of the side glued down right this minute, that's fine because I can come back in and add glue. So I'm probably gonna have to cut some more of this off because it looks like I didn't cut enough off after we pulled it so tight, which that's perfectly fine. I can cut that off. Okay, and again, I'm gonna just kind of really get into my seam there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue right here. Maybe. That little area there that wasn't glued down. Okay, so it's glued down now. And then I do need to trim this up a little more. So I'm just gonna go in and attempt to trim this straight. And I know I didn't. Nope, y'all knew I wouldn't. I heard some of you saying that I wouldn't be able to. But that's okay, I knew I couldn't. But I'm not real worried about this part because it, you're not gonna really see it and it will blend on in. And then it looks like I need a little bit more glue right here. And then we will check the covers, um, make sure we don't need any glue in either one of those areas. That's a piece of glue or something right there. Look at that. <laughs> work that out. So now it's, you know, while your glue is still a little tacky now, it's when you want to, you know, do any of the last minute changes or anything like that. If you need to move something around or slide it around, this is your last chance. Because once this is done, it's not going anywhere, it won't move. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Let's see. It looks like I probably, no, no, we definitely need to put a little bit more right through here. So I'm just putting my glue right up underneath that and just putting a little bit anywhere that I see that it's, you know, kind of sticking up or looks like it may end up sticking up. I need to add a little bit more glue to it. Okay. Let's take a look at the back. The back looks good. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to call that done for today. Uh, we will come back tomorrow and we will, um, I will show you how to keep your pages intact and we will work on picking out pages for our signatures. So make sure that you come back tomorrow and check it out um, because this will be a start to finish. So we will finish it all together. Um, and again, keep your eyes open because this will be an Etsy within a couple of days at most. Um, if it's something that you are interested in and you want to get it and you're afraid that if I put it in Etsy, you won't get it, um, at least for this journal, you can message me. You can do a pre-order. You can go ahead and purchase it. Um, but you just have to message me. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.